what is going on you guys welcome back to another video today we're going to start off the video with a cold start and this breaking bad van just pulled up or rv just pulled up next to me anyways we're going to get this video started with a cold start just got some gas <laughs> I gotta change the song, bro. Today's quote of the day is You can't save someone who doesn't want to first save themselves. You can't force someone to save themselves. If they don't want to save themselves, then you gotta let it go, bro. I used to try to do that all the time, try to help people, like, open people's eyes and help them, like, become better, like, a better person, but you have to realize that's okay to do, but if they don't want it, you can't help, you can't force them to, like, want to improve their life and become a better person. If they don't want to do that themselves, you got to let it go. It's difficult to do because it can be about people you care about and the people you love, but you got to let it go. If they don't want to save themselves, you got to let them go, bro. At the end of the day, people are going to do whatever they want with their own lives. And if they don't want to... I mean, everybody's definition of saving them is different. But, like, you, you know what I mean. Like, if you're someone that, for example, is addicted to cigarettes or something. You're trying to get them to quit. You're trying to help them stop. If they don't want to stop smoking cigarettes, they're not going to. And all of your effort is just going to be wasted. you got to let it go. If you're trying to help them quit cigarettes, you're trying to tell them how bad it is and it's so bad for your health, you're going to get cancer, lung health, all that, and they still, they just don't care, they want to keep smoking, you got to let them smoke, bro. Like, there's nothing you can do. All you're doing at that point is hurting yourself by wasting all your time and your energy trying to, to make them do something they don't want to do, and they're just, just not going to do it. It's a very, very, very hard thing to do when you see someone you love kind of descending in their life and you want to help them you want to help them have a good life but at the end of the day if they don't want to they're not going to and you you just have to take that for what it is man it's hard it's difficult but you have to just let it go you have to let them go if they don't want help they're not going to receive help and you can't keep wasting your energy on this person trying to help them if they don't want help It's a very, very, you know, like sensitive, I guess you could say, subject, like, it's tough, but if they don't want help, then they're not going to receive it, and if they're not receiving help, then you can't be sitting there wasting all your time and energy and effort on trying to help them if they don't want it. And I know that you want good for them, and you want them to be, have a he healthy, happy life, but you just have to understand, some people don't want that for themselves. And if they don't want that for themselves, you can't convince them that they do. All you're going to be doing is just wasting your own energy, wasting your own time, wasting your own effort, and ultimately making your life worse. Because you're pouring so much into someone, and they're just throwing it all in the garbage. And if you realize that that's happening to you, damn, bro. I got, you guys scared me a little bit. If you realize that that's happening to you, you have to let them go. That's the only option that you have. Because if you don't let them go, like, you're just wasting your life.
it's a very, very hard thing, but I mean, at the end of the day, people are going to do what they want with their lives. And if they don't want to have a happy, healthy life, then bro, let them. You can't save everybody. And the most important person to save is yourself. You need to focus on yourself first, and then you can focus on helping other people. Pitbull is the one who like runs those schools or some shit. Like the artist, Pitbull. The ball guy. Fireball. That guy. <laughs> That's the guy who runs those those there's like a middle school over here. It's like a magnet school or some shit, I don't know. But he runs it. It's kinda cool. the gym but this video kind of needs to be longer so I'm gonna ride around for a second and then I'll go Slam kind of looks like a prison though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's the school right there, bro. It looks like a prison, low key. It's like a fucking cinder block building. Or it's not cinder block, but it's like cement. long I was I, I also haven't gotten a haircut I kind of need one of those bro that's why it's in my eyes <laughs>
that's a cop up there. <laughs> I was about to go, well, I was about to like launch it, but then I saw that cop up there, dude. turn off here because I'm not trying to like you know follow this cop the whole way I'm not gonna lie that was rough is over here bro bro all right i'm gonna just end the video hopefully it's not too short if it is i apologize the next one will be longer i don't even know if i can get to the gym from over here i guess we'll see well this is kind of cool Even get to the gym from over here. I think I can. Where the hell am I at? I can see the gym from over here. But I don't know if the road connects. Oh, I think is right here. Right, guys well i'm in this video here if you enjoyed drop a like subscribe spread some love and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out